Alrighty guys, hello, welcome back to another rig rundown series brought to you by Bendix. Now stick around to the end of the episode to find out how you can win your very own ultimate brake upgrade kit. Now behind me is a very special car and it's special because today is the very first female ever to be on the rig rundown. She's pretty bloody excited. She was like arm wrestling me all week saying, I wanna be on rig rundown. So we're doing it today and uh, she's got her very luxury high vehicle, also known as a Hilux. So let's get into it. Here we are. Finally, Bridget has made it. The first girl. The first. You, you feel special? I do. No feel one special. can ever like beat you on that because nah. like the first is the first. Yeah, yeah. Except you're on map, babe. Because <laughs> <laughs> episode fucking. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got the Hilux here. Now you've only gotten to four driving recently mm. with Red Dirt Diary. So this is like blown up for you in the last couple of years, your whole four driving industry. And this is your yeah. baby. Yes. So tell us about it. Tell us everything. It's just my little N70, my touring hotel on wheels. Uh, I absolutely love it. And I've pretty much just tried to make a car that wasn't off the shelf. That yep. was the goal. I wanted to go down the custom route and make one of the most common cars that I feel like I see in Australia not look like one of the others. Because this was probably been fully built in probably only the last year maybe? It was yeah. fairly stocked before that? Yeah, it's fair to say that January this year, there was a three week hustle, day in and night, mm. and the car went from zero to 100 yep. and looked like this. Sick, and you filmed a lot of that, it's on your channel? Yeah. Yeah, sick. Let's get into it because there's a lot to see, so we're gonna like hook straight into it. Let's start from the front, work back. We'll look at the bull bar, lights and everything. My and, bull bar. Um, go from there, yeah, the bull bar. Uh, it's by SEQ Fabrication in Southeast Queensland. Uh, and I'm a very lucky girl. I basically just wanted uh, the hoop that I'd seen him do a couple of times back in the day and he doesn't do them anymore. So I begged him and begged him and he made me one. So I think this is one of one of seven bull bars of this type. Yep, sweet, something special. Yeah. Ton of light force light bars, they're tucked in which is nice. And yep. in that little gap, yep. um, one up there as well. Yeah. Heaps of lighting, there's a winch in there. There is a winch in there, don't ask me what it is. An eBay spec, Chinese Sweet. brand, nothing special. It's like one of the first things I ever bought when I was on a budget. So. Yeah, and the girl is custom too? Yeah, no, no, this is just by um, Panel House. A lot of the little finer details I got from Panel House because yep. they make cool different things for N70s. Sweet, and headlights, they look aftermarket. Same, they're by Panel House as well. Yep. Um, these are the first of this particular type. They change colors, that's pretty cool. But again, these are just from Panel House as well. Lots of stuff from there. All right, kick on around. We've got some scrubs, yep. side steps, bit nice. of protection. Yeah, my scrub rails. My scrub rails are actually made out of chromoly. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I wanted to work with something different. Uh, it was very hard, I learned that. <laughs> straight away, but I do, I love them. 100% of the whole piece is made out of chromoly. I know you wouldn't know when you look at it that it is chromoly, but there's a few features about it that make it better for wheeling. It's more lightweight and stronger, so yeah. I love that. And then I've obviously made my own um, little custom plate that I color match to the car, just yep. to keep it sharp and different and try to highlight the fact that none of this stuff came from off the shelf. Yeah, sweet. All right, snorkel as well with a little pink yeah, thing on it. that is an off-the-shelf part. It's um, by J Max Engineering, but yep. I did my own powder coating. Um, it's the only pink thing on the outside of the car. I wanted to stick with female nature and do something just to show that I was a girl, but not just your typical aerial and number plate. Yep. So I did my little pink hole, which works in well with the fact that my engine bay is yep. pink. All right, we'll keep moving down the back. Oh, on the roof. Front runner, rack, flat rack, max racks. Yeah, I just got the space cab roof rack. I know it looks a little bit silly when I jack my canopy off, but I think it looks really well fitted when everything is on. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just some lights all around. I got my max tracks on the roof, obviously to match the color of the car. And I tinted my big black light bar just to make it look more stealthy. Despite public opinion <laughs> and how harassed I get on the internet, I'm pretty sure I lose like 1%, but I got so many lights that yeah. I just don't care. Doesn't matter. All right. Let's go look at the train canopy setup because that's pretty cool on this thing. Alrighty, train canopy setup now. This was a tub originally, obviously, and you've gone with this, so tell us about it. Yeah, it's just completely an alloy custom tray. Um, I know you can't really see it when the canopy is on, but my canopy floor isn't flat. It's got some wings on it, which was really hard to do. I mean that. It meant that my 
jerry holders had to have that same angle my canopy floor had to have that same angle all my underboxes so adding that extra bend made bracing really hard and fitting everything really hard but i think that it is come out so so attractive and i love it i got my it does look cool but that's a lot of work yeah it was a lot of work out. I just got my 1.6 trundle draw. It's that length specifically because I'm really into snowboarding. It's got hidden handles. Yeah, I can't find that them. Sam doesn't know how to open. Yeah. This is a really long draw. Now you did this just for snowboarding? Yeah. Wow. I did this just for snowboarding. The depth is exactly what I needed for bindings. Um, and I go snowboarding with a lot of boys. So I wanted 1.6 so I can fit the boys boards in. I've oh, got boys. this is Zach's. Yeah, this is Zach's board. So, and then my little one Who's next that? to it. Who's that? Who's Zach? Are you related to it? I don't know. I don't know. But no, it's working. I finally started using it because um, now we're in winter and it's yep. working great. And it was tough because being 1.6, I'm taking the pretty much majority of the length, mm. but I still hold 140 litres of water. So what? Where's that at? My water tanks are all contoured around my side. chassis rails. Yeah. Um, one of one of the boxes has I don't even know how many bends, a lot of bends. It was really hard to do, and then the rest is in my uh, my headboard. And yeah, it's it's all. It does look really sick. Well. It's, I'm finding a lot out about this, which is cool. About like the extra water you got. It's pretty flash. Pretty flash. All right, let's go around the side because we're here to talk about canopy. This is the business side. This is the side that I live out on. I've got my water filler just next to you, Sam. Yep. And then my water outlet behind this cheeky little door that you wouldn't know about. What? Yeah, so I that box, again, another headache. But it looks good. It looks good. And then I Frenched in my water filler. Um, Frenching is a really hard thing to do, I have to say. So I did two of them, just because I like the idea of ripping my hair out. So I've got one on this side and one on the other side for my GME. It's all, all about right, the look. Let's get inside and see what it, what's in there. That looks good and doesn't work. All right. Woohoo! Look yes. at this. This is flash. Yeah. Did that's you turn them lights on? That's a deer antler. No, it's not automatic. Yeah, they're automatic. The light just yeah. comes on when you open the canopy. Yeah. The lighting Where's in the canopy the is just here. What? That's amazing. That's a really simple thing. It's actually super cheap. And my um, my Auto Sparky Amped Automotive came up with it. And I'm really glad he did because I think that it's just the convenience and That's it looks cool. great. This isn't my actual lighting lighting. It's just my decorative lighting just to look good. Yep. We've lit up behind the deer antler that stays on when you open the pantry because it would be not as good if it had to turn off. And just some glow lighting. I got my hooks, uh, more deer antlers. There's a piece of random popcorn there. And I, I noticed all this is timber. Yeah. Why have you done that and not like everyone has alley these days? Or I, I'm really inspired by people that live in vans. Yeah. You know how you see there's really cool van fit outs um, and it's really cozy and comfortable. Also, I wanted you to open the canopy and be really surprised and have something unexpected pop out and yeah. a little bit more on the feminine side. So um, I thought cabinet making was the way to go. I did yeah, it with it the company called Happy Campers and they, they nailed it. Yep. I'm so happy with this. So that's just, this is obviously kitchen side. So you got pantry in there. This is a table. Oh, it's large. Yeah. The room on there, that's good. Things in there from the show. Fridge. Beers in here. Yeah, 85 litre Bushman fridge that I put my own sticker on. That's cool, yeah. Nah, this is just my kitchen supply stuff. Um, I got induction and a pan that's really dirty. Wow, um, go wash that. <laughs> anyway, I don't have any of my 12 volt in the canopy. This is only 1.3 long, so it's really small, but I having void space to keep it looking big. This is interesting, I heard about this. So the, yeah. all the 12 volt, she's talking like all the, because it is red arc here, red vision. Yeah like invert everything is in the cab but then comes back here yeah. so there's a lot of wiring a lot of harnesses to plug a lot, through a lot. i'm interested why you didn't put it in that false floor like room down there is it just it's only 60 mil the floors built up 60 mil which yeah. isn't actually enough for some of the modules yeah. that you have to get um so i put it onto the rear wall of the car because it's neat and tidy it's there where i need it and yeah. also to the floor that's being wasted ran wiring and it's secret storage i'll show you so if you just hold the tabs down and you look in there. Oh. I got water bottles and stuff in there. You're joking. Use of every bit of space, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I didn't want to waste space. It is a really small canopy. Yep. So I've done really well to maximize on space mm. and only put in here what I need. It just meant that it caused people like my auto sparky, uh, Mario, a huge headache. <laughs> Let's look at the other side, eh? Yep. All right, the living side. There's a mirror. There's a mirror. It must be one of the first canopy I've seen with a mirror in it. Yeah. Damn, who did this haircut? Oh, I did. That was you. It looks yeah. good. Um, it looks good. No, All the right. mirror, the mirrors. Handy. You've got a missus, right? You know, yeah, when you go away I camping, like the handy. first thing in the morning, 
she sits in the yeah. car seat and she drops down the she visor. She pushes my mirror around the yeah. way. So yeah, so the yeah. girl can have a look, like brush her hair, all the things that girls want to do. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? I don't want to live out of a tiny little mirror. I live out of my car more than six months of the year. Yeah. So I gave myself a big, generous mirror. There is storage behind it. Oh, it's like a bathroom. Kind of like a vanity, yeah. Sick. Um, and then I've just got my storage for bags and pillows. This is my office drawer. There's 12 volt and 240 running into this drawer. What? So We've just cool been snowboarding, so it's yep. been converted into snowboarding gear everywhere. This is my bathroom drawer. Again, it's full of snowboarding stuff. Yep. And then my coat rack. And the coat A rack. coat rack. <laughs> it's like literally someone's house. Yeah. The kitchen. Yeah. You got your closet. Yeah. You got your bathroom. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, that's cool. Where's the sink? I don't have a Kitchen sink. Kitchen sink. The coat rack is killer and yeah. it means that I can dry my stuff. Um, it is so, so, so handy not completely living out of a bag. Like I said, we just went to the snow. Yeah. So you have a lot of wet stuff. So being able to hang all of your things and dry them when you're in like neg five yeah. and you need to use it again the next day. It's the only way that I'm able to do it. So I'm frothing. I wouldn't Probably change this. Probably the flashiest this. thing I've seen is this coat hanger room is kind of heated. There's a heater in there. Mm. So it, it like dries your snowboarding gear. Like that's where you get in heat rooms in houses, but yeah. you've put one in yeah. your canopy. Yeah. Does it use much power or not? Look, it does, but if you, you, same as an induction, you know, when you have an induction on boost yeah. and you're pulling a lot at once, yeah. if you're get quick it going, about yeah. it, if you're quick about it, then it's fine. Or if you're, you're tactful about it. So it hasn't actually been too bad. All right, we're well, talking about electrical running this. Let's have a look at what's behind your seat because that's where all the game changing gear is. All right, quickly before we jump inside on the front, there's, there's a lot going on here, like we said with the electrical. So let's review. <laughs> Red Arc! This, this is my 12 volt wall. I got my two lithiums in there, uh, my 2000 watt inverter, all my Manager 30 gear. Uh, it's it's Manager unreal. 30, but you've also got a BCDC. So yeah. do you know what the charge rate is? When I have a bigger alternator in the car as well. So when I'm driving, I'm pulling like 75 to 80 amps. That's cool, yeah. I an hour that. to charge, which is crazy good. Um, mm. and kind of useful in the cold, in the snow, because yep. that's when I use most of yep. my power anyway. That's the biggest thing. A lot of people have big batteries, big capacity, they use it, and then they've got to drive for eight hours to charge it again, yep. but that'll will yep. supercharge it really quick. And only have a 180 uh, solar on yep. the roof, which is good in summer, but in winter, like I've run that, I've run the battery systems hard. Yep. So maximum charging power, because I'm only doing like 10, 15 minute drives sometimes. Sick, all right. Now we're inside, let's have a look at the front, see what's in the uh, in the dash of this thing. All right, in the Toyota Hilux. This is simple. There's not- There's, there's not much going not on. Not much going on. A lot of tech, but- Yeah, I- I love your rear vision mirror. Yeah, my rear vision <laughs> mirror is great. The red vision mirror. Yeah, and it's so, so, so good because I can turn things on, I can prep things, heat things up, yeah. power stuff up and down. 15 minutes before I pull into camp, which is like a mint touring feature. Yep. And that was a drunken idea and I love it. Yeah, so it's great. I'm Very really good. happy with that. I have my Polaris Maxxis head unit. Yep. It's flashy, it entertains the passenger, it swivels, I can watch movies on it and it's legal, which is hectic. Yep. And I've just got my compressor switches, my tune switches, um, my airbag sensor modules because this car is on airbags. Yep. Um, my remote uh, for my wireless airbag kit, my GME, bit of storage, and that's it. I kept every seat because yeah. I just like to put all my friends in and yep. go out and have a good time. Yeah, that's it. It's very simple, very minimalistic. That's what I found the trend is a lot, a lot these days is like just having less inside the car. Yeah. It was big back in the day, I have rocker switches everywhere, but nah. now with things like Red Vision that it simplifies it. We've got a uh, throttle controller. And a throttle controller. That's I had cool. to make it pink, yep. um, just to tie in all the pink stuff. I guess I have these pink Grand handles. handles yep. So the tune, you've got this switch here, they're switchable tunes as you can drive. Sort this of is an alpha shake. What's that? This is purely just a f boy mod. Oh, is it's it the, the, thing that, the thing that puts it on the two step. So it's got one driving tune and then a few play things. It's got two driving tunes, my yep. bigger tune and then my eco tune. Yep. Um, I drive it in my eco tune that pushes 179 yep. on my eco tune. And then I have obviously my big tune when I'm pulling Brie out of bogs and yep. carrying on on sand and stuff like that. But then my alpha shake and my rev limiter so that I can put it on the rev limit and not blow up the car and make noise. <laughs> Sick. All right, let's go on the engine bay talking about motors. All right, I don't know much about Hiluxes, but it's a, an engine. Is it a 1KD, is that what they call them? Yeah. Um, I've kept it pretty much factory. I yep. wanted it to be reliable. I'm not here to push power. 
So I do have, it is tuned so that it runs right. Yep. But I have my high flow air box powder coated at pink, my front mount in the cooler and pipes powder coated then pink. I made my front mount say moist because it is moist. And I had two batteries, but I deleted it when I put the canopy on. Yep, and then trend. I have, yeah, my Alpha Shake, Snorkel, Isolator Switch. It's actually on it, like it looks cool because there's some pink stuff going on, but it's not. It's a really, really simple car. Yep. The flashiest thing's probably my big front mount. Turbo's all standard and everything. Yep, yep, yep. Um, economy would be pretty good. We'll find that out in the challenges and yep. that, but yeah. Heaps of room to add stuff if you do want to yep. later. I mean, does it have breathers and that for all your diffs and stuff? And uh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, no. It doesn't. I have them. They're just not in the car. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I kept it. It is a touring car. I yeah. feel like people, because of red dirt and some of the things they see online, they think that I'm supposed to be all Brevoto, like 40 pound yeah. pushing spec, but I'm not. It's a touring car. And I think like this, it's reliable because these engines are great. Yeah. Um, and if you take care of them, this car can last me a lifetime. Yeah. All right, you'll probably smash it in the sprint challenge, eh? Let's go punch some numbers. I want to take my canopy off. It's probably off. the less, least It goes like the clappers when there's no weight on it. Yeah, well, they all do, don't they? Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Last thing's underneath the car suspension, and then we'll take this thing for a wheel. All right, we're going to look at lift and tires and wheels and suspension and diffs and everything. So what's the overall lift at the moment? Uh, it's like, it's a two to four. I think it's sitting around three. Yeah. we we'll start at the front end. Wheels and tyres, what do we got there? Uh, I've changed recently, now I have Toyo 295s yep. and some ROH wheels, the 17s. I love it. Yep. Um, I used to have something a bit fatter and wider and lower before, but these are actually going really, really well. Um, I think the fitments, I've nailed it, third mm. time round. And then I just have Bilstein shocks with PSR coilovers, um, a fat bars diff drop, yep. and Three link upper control arms, which I just want to say to anyone that has a car like me that's watching this, um, that is a really, really handy way to minimise scrub. Speaking of handy, look at that guy dragging his bin with his car. <laughs> you see that? All right, let's move to the back. So the front's all IFS. Yep, it's all IFS. Don't flex amazing, but it'd be good for a Hilux, I'm sure. Yep. The rear is a little bit more going on, maybe. We've got leafs and bags and stuff. Yeah, despite public opinion, I have very lightweight leafs. Um, I know exactly how much my tray weighs without the canopy on, so mm. I only have 200 to 20 kilo leafs, which is seriously light. Um, and then I have the big airbags by Airbag Man doing the rest when they have the canopy on. Yeah. Um, and then I can obviously make my adjustments, you know, when you go camping and stuff like that. Uh, and I just had to make it all fit because it's a really, really, really tight underbody. You got a lot of sensors and stuff like that. Yeah, and you've got a lot going on, like say you got your water tanks going around your chassis rails yes. and that. So yep. like, it's a very compact unit it to is. fit everything. Yeah. Um, fuel tanks, is there one or two in there? No, there's there's one in there. There's I one actually, there. I have space to go to. Um, yep. I will need to make a lot of changes, but I feel like I don't need to. Bree's only got one tank in her, so you, if you're just traveling together, you only need as much range as her. Well, but <laughs> just like and we, 100Ks? And we both 200Ks? have- We both have jerry can holders, yeah. like it's fine. And then I got the extended Bilstein shocks in the rear, yep. um, which, yeah, it's just PTSD trying to put yep. this car together. It was. Is this open as well? No, that's, that's just that's, that's just decoration. So it hole. matches. Is this the side with the fuel filler? No, the other side is the fuel filler. Okay. Is um, that finished? I've seen you fill up before, and somehow you go under here into your. No, nah, it's finished. It's when is I that use how it works? when I use high flow, I can obviously release um, oh, okay. something else that I can let more air flow through it because fuel's traveling so far. Um, so I had to make some modifications after I finished the car more recently and yep. change my breathers because I want to use high flow and I couldn't. Of course. Excellent. All right. I'm going to get the keys this thing and take it for a rip. How much power this engine's got. Doesn't have. Pink makes it go faster. Yeah. And we'll do the challenges and you got to, well, breeze next week, but you got to set the little record. Yeah. And then Brie can lose next week. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> worried good. at all. All right. We're in the pussy wagon. No, the moist The moist machine. machine. We're in the moist machine. That's it. It's in so the it's shot. Just get out of my shot. <laughs> Cut him off. Watch out. Ah! <laughs> all right. So this, I'm not going to lie, this feels exactly like I'm at work. We're out on the BHP work site in the Hilux. That's okay. Not a lot's been done except all the stuff in the back. It's it's a house on wheels. It's not a race car. Oh, it does it does go. It it's goes. All it's all turned down. No, it goes like it's uh, moving. But like, do you want to see what the? Do you want to see what's going on behind you? Oh yeah, okay. Where's the there car? we go. Ah, how do you do that? I can't There's a Vicky. Well. There's not much to say about this because it's all factory. It's fairly stock inside. The motor is fairly standard. So I think we just need to get ripped straight into it. We're going to do the challenges. So we're going to start with the sprint. 
then oh it's got aircon that's good not many Forbes have aircon yeah maybe it's just my cars anyway but we're gonna do economy flex sprint and I'm not going to win economy if you keep driving it. That's why I need you to... That's well, I'm hardly on the throttle. I've turned everything right. off. We're about to lose all your economy because we're doing the sprint first. Let's get to it. All right, here we are. Not near a main road. See, look, it's dirt. Roads aren't made out of dirt. We're not near a road. We're on a, a Noah local street out the back of my old place in Sydney. We found it's dirt. It's really quiet. And it's closed at the moment, which is perfect for us. There's shut signs everywhere. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do... 100 SAM steps, which is slightly less than 100 meters. I feel sore from snowboarding, which means I probably won't have big steps as normal, which means it's shorter, which means you could win. Yeah. All right, let's step it out. When I say go, here's the here's the line. Yep. Just follow the Roxies yep. down the end. Yeah. And then just break if you got them. All righty. Sprint time for the Hilux. Let's see what we can It's slightly down here. I have given the girls a bit of an advantage. Quickly, Vicky, give me the 101 on launch launches. I have no idea what I'm doing, but that's okay because yeah. I'm a tourer, but I'm here to make the tourers and the IFS drivers proud. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. And I know that I'm gonna lose. I just don't want to lose miserably. You know what I mean? I want to make the girls proud and I just want to hustle. If I don't come last, I'm a happy girl. Okay. All right, you ready? In three, two, one. Go! <laughs> she so missed the gear at the end, she was like, no, 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 no. Damn it, I lost the gear! Damn it! Oh, you're joking. I was like, do I, do I hit third? Yeah, screw it, I'll hit third, and then I missed it. 901, terrible. It's only three seconds slower than the fastest time. That's right. Stock engine it is the least modified motor we've ever had on the channel. I panicked and was like, do I go for third? No, I'll hold it. No, it's going to blow up. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got a 901. Is that bad? Oh, no, it's good. It's three seconds. Slower than everyone else. Oh, it's all right. Does it even hit the board? No. Damn it! I think the board's still at seven or eight or something. Well, you can redeem yourself in economy and comfort and all the things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what she's made for. Oh, that's right. All right, let's go do the comfort challenge. Yeah, perfect. Sweet. Uh, I'm miles away from home in Sydney, we're, or in Queensland, we're in Sydney. So, I don't have the cup for the bucket challenge, so we're going to have to quickly run to the shops, find something close, the same size, and come back and do it. So. Whoops, that was my fault. A few inches later. Alrighty, so obviously I didn't plan very well coming here for these reg rundowns, so I'm gonna have to improvise. And for the comfort challenge, we need a similar size bottle. Which one do you reckon? Probably this one and cut it there. I reckon this one. It was tall and skinny, that's all I remember. Now I gotta drink it. I should actually go to good flavor. Oh no, that's the only one. Yes, this is it. This is what we need. It's not cloth tap. Oh, here we go, gaff. Yeah, that's the stuff. And we're going to use like a steak knife to cut this. That'll work, I think. YouTube hopes and dreams. Energy? No, I do want to continue. Energy for the afternoon. Diabetes. For later tonight. There's two things, all right? We can either put this on your car with juice in it and get your car all sticky, or we paper, scissors, rock for who skulls it. Is that you two? You guys filming? No, we're I'm, all... I'm in the next episode. <laughs> I'm in the next episode. Nah, juice will make it sticky. Oh, so I don't know, but Vicky's got to be in it too. And the cameraman. No, no, come on. Vicky. We're all in it, we're all in it. Zach's going to go rocks, that's all he can do. Ready, ready? <laughs> Three, two, two one, one, go. <laughs> that's between you two. <laughs> come on. Don't go scissors, ready? Three, <laughs> two, one. Yes! I never win anything! Drink come it! On. I can't stand back. How about we do this? Just go. <laughs> 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 I did it! So I didn't mean to do so that! So <laughs> <was it? laughs> this is fucked! I'm sorry, I'll help you! <laughs> oh my god! No! It was meant to just squirt no! out! <laughs> oh, when I squeezed it, it was meant to just go up, but it was like <laughs> straight into her face! Do you have any water in it? Let me help her! <laughs> it's quite thick, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, after that big debacle, we're there, we're on. The problem is I don't have the markings on this, so we're gonna have to guess the percentage, but that, that's like the old school days, the OG, how many 
mills are left kind of set up. This is like my high tech installation system. That ain't going nowhere. Do you want to top it up or are you just going to assume that's going to all fall out? No, do you want to fill it up? Yeah, fill it right up, oh, please. It's going to come out anyway. All right, go on, get a little cup. Drink it, the water from Antarctica. <laughs> from Antarctica. Okay, I'll be back. That'll do. All right, let's test it. Okay, so we technically can't go up to 50 k's an hour here, but the faster you go, the bigger the splashes and it fills the cup up as you go through the water holes. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh my God! Not faster than that, or I'm gonna disqualify you. Yeah! <laughs> liquid if you were like go faster no that's good you need to get some speed up what are we calling it 80 percent hang on that the truck stinks that's 50 70 90 70 5 75 <laughs> it's so high because it's a different cup right yeah. on the line of 70 percent well all i really care is that i have more water than brie does all right so 70 percent and then we just got to make sure brie gets 69 or something like yeah. yeah all right let's go do flex Alrighty, we're here. Somehow, I always end up just commandeering forklifts, so we found one. Do the old flex challenge. Hopefully, they got a tape measure here. All right, go back. We don't have a tape measure. How much is the car worth if I roll it over? Come on, little car. Slap the ground. The handbrake will be on. No, it's not on. You left the handbrake off. No, it's off. It's going to roll off? Yeah, but Bree said leave it off. Put your handbrake on. Hey, it goes good. I'm scared. Oh, yeah, we're off, we're off, we're off. That's so shit. How's it looking? Okay, tape measure, who's got one? All uh, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck, no one's ready. 450 million. Dude, where, where's the number? 560. Five. 565. Make it 566. You can do it. 567. That's not bad! Alright, it's to the bottom of your tyre there. 567. Shall we rob this joint or what? Alright, so I've done the flex now, Bridget's car. So, we're filled up at the start of the day. We're going to fill up again and see what the economy is. That's the last challenge. And then we'll hit the leaderboard, see how they stack up. Which one do I use, Sam? Oh, they're both black. For the price of bill, 207. All the way to the top. Alrighty, so Bridget's filled up. How many how many Ks did you do? 230.8. 230, so go 27.9 divided by 230.8. Point 12.1 <laughs> litres per hundred. Yeah! Yeah! I told That's you good. it was good. Well we'll find out next week what Breeze does, but it is gonna be way more than that, I think. Has the to be. squid, the squid suits Hers everywhere. Hers is tuned badly, suits so much, and she's kind of heavy at the moment. I have the slight model. advantage, I'll give it to her. I said my rooftop tent taken off, so I'm saving on like 80 kilos. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna win. Let's find out how she stacked up in the other challenges. Alrighty guys, hello and welcome back to the Bendix Rig Rundown Leaderboard. It's been a little while since I've been here, but it's been good. We've had a few cars in between on and off, but for the first time, we finally had a girl on the Rig Rundown series. So, before we get into it, remember, the start of the episode, how you can win your very own ultimate brake upgrade kit. Just jump onto the Bendix Instagram page, find the photo of Bridget's car, and just comment down below what vehicle you have, and they're gonna be picking a winner at random to win the kit. A ton of these have been put out so far, and they're pretty top, top. They're in all my four-wheel drives, actually, so, Highly recommend. Okay, we're gonna start with, well, this is gonna be an interesting one because I've seen the results and they're not great. But we're gonna start with a sprint. So she did a 9.01, which was quite dismal. It's a shame I don't have a list of the worst, slowest cars, but it is factory with a 901. She's miles from the board. Anyway, let's move on to the comfort challenge. Uh, well, we gave her a nice 70% there. I was quite, uh, what's the word? I was very generous and <laughs> gave her an extra couple of percentages. At 70%, we still didn't make it anywhere on the leaderboard. So that's up for debate because we did have that orange juice cup, which isn't the normal one we use. So you can fight about that in the comments later. Then we went on to flex. Again, IFS, Leafs in the rear. Bloody, you got 567 mil, which is nowhere near the leaderboard again. It's not looking good for Bridget. I was about to say Bree, but that's next week. But, 
Should we start some music here? Dun, dun, dun. She's, when she sees it, she's gonna be so stoked. All right, the economy test. She's redeemed herself, coming out on top a 12.1 letters per 100, which means she is number one on the leaderboard. She's gotta be boasting about that for the rest of her life, that her car is the most, uh, well, fuel efficient. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> Well, it saves you on fuel. Actually, the price of fuel these days is probably not a bad thing. That's all right. Anyway, stay tuned for next week because, as mentioned, part one, both the girls, these guys kind of work together. So we're going to be doing back-to-back -back rig rundown episodes. So next Tuesday, see Breeze, and these two are just at war at each other. So for Bri Bridget to go only go on the leaderboard once and take the top spot in one of them, Breeze got a bit of work to do, or not really, just needs to make it on the leaderboard for a couple of them. So we'll see you there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Please click the button to your left if you want to go and check out the latest merchandise we have on our website. If you missed last week's episode, click down below to see it. And most importantly, on the far left, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.